guys, welcome back to our channel. Kristen here. I'm so excited to make this fancy flamingo with you today. I think it's a super cute and easy craft to do right at home. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell to be reminded when our videos go live. But with that being said, let's get started. The first thing I'd like to see you do is draw a straight line for our first little leg. You can't see it right now, but I added on a little foot and now we're gonna make our crisscross leg. You can see how I drew the foot here. Just three little lines. Now we're ready to move on to the body of the flamingo. I want you to think of this as almost making a backwards S and a bubble letter. and just thickening it, thickening it up at the end. Time for our beak. Nice little curve there and just the bottom portion of it. Well guys, guess what? We're already ready to color. I'm just using Crayola washable markers, but you can use whatever you have at home. While you're working on that, I have a few fun facts about flamingos. Did you know they get their reddish pink color from special coloring chemicals called pigments found in the algae and invertebrates that they eat? The same effect is seen when shrimps change their color during cooking. Did you know it takes a flamingo about three years to get their pink and red feathers? The brighter the feathers, the more well-fed the flamingo is. Have you guys ever seen a flamingo in person? I think it's so silly how they're always standing around on just one leg. And did you know the flamingo is the national bird of the Bahamas? So now I'm just getting out a black Sharpie, or you can do a marker, paint, whatever you're using at home, and we're gonna fill in the beak and the legs. I'll show you that foot eventually. Did you know flamingos are water birds? They live in and around lagoons or lakes and a flock of flamingos is called a stand or a flamboyance. I didn't know that one. Have you ever seen one of those plastic pink flamingos in someone's front yard? Well, Don Featherstone. Featherstone, that's a funny last name for the inventor of the pink plastic flamingo. But anywho, they were invented in Massachusetts and first went on sale in 1958. Time for some glitter. So we're gonna fill up the midsection of the flamingo with some glue and pour on some glitter. You can use any glitter you have at home, guys. Phew, I was having trouble opening that bag. I love this chunky glitter. I got it right at Michael's. You might want to press it down just a little bit. I shook mine off, but uh, I definitely lost a few that I wish had stayed on. So cute already. And now it's time for our feathers. This step's a little tricky, so I would definitely use a glue gun. Otherwise, I think the feathers might pop right off. So make sure you have a grown-up or a supervisor helping you with this step. This part's really fun. You can really add as many or as little feathers as you want. Time for some more glue. I really don't want these feathers going anywhere. Just a quick tip. I saved my smallest, darkest feather to go right on top, just to kind of hide the ends of the feathers. I think that looks awesome though. How about you guys? One little last step is just our eye. You can either add it on with a black marker or like me, use a baby googly eye. I'm using my pencil to dab on the tiniest little dot of glue. Oh, and I have one last fun fact for you. Did you know the oldest living flamingo lived to be 83 years old and lived at the Adelaide Zoo in Australia? The flamingo sadly passed away in 2014. 
Well guys, I think our flamingo came out awesome. How fancy does she look? I had so much fun hanging out with you today and can't wait to see you next time. Bye.